Hi, this is Madman from Access Rock, and I'm sitting here with. Who are you? <laughs> Master Tov from Cold Rain. Japanese metal band. Yes. Cool, and you're far away from home. Far away. Been for a while. Yeah. Have you been to Denmark before? We actually just had a day off here um, before we hit um, Sweden. And it's been, it was really cool. Yeah. So, what did you see? Um, we just walked around the city, got some dinner and stuff, and it, it's cool. It's a be beautiful, beautiful town, and hopefully we get to spend more time here. Yeah, okay, it's a really nice town. Yeah. So, uh, for the ones who don't don't know who you are, who are, who are Cold Rain? Um, you just said we're a metal band. I guess we're we we do heavy. Um, heavy music was a lot of melodic parts, and we've been a band for seven years, I think, now in Japan. Um, it's been a year since we've done the worldwide thing, and we just came out with a new record um, from Hopeless Records. It's called Vina, and we we've done four rec full records in Japan, but this is like the first one that we're actually coming out into the world, and we're really stoked about it. We're all four people. Um, having a good time at shows, jumping around, screaming and mosh pits and singing along and yeah, I think if if you like heavy stuff but you still like stuff that has a good melody, I think we're we're the band for it definitely. Cool, cool. And uh, if you compare the Japanese metal scene mm -hmm. to the rest of the world, how would you describe it? Um, I think it's it's still really small. Um, not a big history there. There have been bands in the past that I think have broke out from um, the Japanese scene and done stuff worldwide, but inside of Japan it's still small and um, I think a lot of bands are trying to get it to a bigger level, even mm -hmm. just inside of Japan, and then there's a couple of bands that are trying to break out from that too, And it, but it's really cool because I think for the first time we feel like young kids that are in junior high and high school and college are coming out to shows and listening to heavy music. And, that's really nice. <laughs> it, it's cool because um, when we were growing up, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> when we were, yeah, because when we were growing up, um, we were the odd ones listening mm -hmm. to heavy music, and no one, none of my friends listened to metal or new metal, which was popular then. I mean. You have to become as big as um, Lincoln Park for people to even know the name, and mm -hmm. but now now it's really cool because uh, it, it's like a new um, fad or something, and it's becoming really big. And hopefully, a lot of bands from the world get to come to Japan, and Japanese bands get to go to the world because of that. And then now you have like Baby Metal yeah. from Japan and Crossfade. Mm -hmm. Are they like helping? the rest of the world like and I recognize Japanese metal. Yeah. I mean I think I think well baby metal is a different thing. They they do because they're so original mm -hmm. and I, I mean of course they're gonna be turning heads in the world and then you get crossfade that's still a little um more crazy because they, they do they do like the dance music shit and then they then, then they break into the metal mm -hmm. and they're another heavy band and um, we're we're just coming from a different point, I think, and we're just it, we're we're trying to prove a different point that not everyone from Japan has that crazy mm -hmm. aspect, and we're we're just going straight forward with our songs and the show we play, and I mean if people are up for that, we're cool with that, and I mean it's I'm all for being metal and CrossFit because they they've um, changed the scene in Japan definitely, and then they've changed the people. The way that people think in the world too, so it's really cool. And I love baby. Metal. <laughs> fantastic. A lot of people love baby. Metal. <laughs> a lot of people hate hate them. So, but okay. So now you're on a tour with Bullet for my Valentine mm -hmm. and uh, Why She Sleeps. Mm -hmm. How's that been so far? It's been really cool. I mean, it's the f second time we've been um, on a Europe tour with Bullet, and we've 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 grown to. Um, I think the first time was first time we were with them. It was like this is our first tour. We were really nervous, but now we're more relaxed and we're friends with the dudes. So we, we get to do our thing on the set. And I've realized how important it is to start a show, open a show, um, and see the crowd really um, get into it from the first song. And it, it's really cool. And then it's the first time we've toured with while she sleeps. We're sharing a bus with them, and they're like friends now. And um, 
it, it, it's always cool meeting new people and then touring with the same people for the second time. And it, it has so much cool aspects. And we got to go back to certain countries, and it's been really cool. And earlier this year, you, made, you did a tour with Papa Roach. Mm -hmm. And how was that? That was that was another a whole new level of um, dreams coming true. I mean, <laughs> we've always been big, big Papa Roach fans, and then we got after that tour. I mean, we we got Jacoby on a new track mm -hmm. on our album, and again, friends with guys that we grew up listening to. Same as Bullet. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that they acknowledge us as a band and they know what we're doing and they respect that. And then. Got us out on tour, so hopefully we get to bring them back to Japan and do a little tour there too. Cool. And um, as you said, Jacob is in mm -hmm. on your new rec record. How did you? How did you? It, it was just a simple. It was just a simple. Cax, he he um, hit me up on. He gave me a text and he said, "What what's up? What's going on?" And we were just, we were just like, "I'm in L.A. We're writing a record." And, stuff and he, he was on a Europe tour right the, when we were texting and he said when I get back if you need guest vocals tell me like and I think he was joking at first he might have been joking at first but I like took it full serious and I was like you're gonna sing on the record <laughs> just send him tracks and um, ask him to do his thing and because when we were writing the song we were like we definitely need him on this part and then he just nailed it and how was the writing process for Dima? Um, we, like, like I said, we've, we've written so many songs back home um, and released them. And after a while, you get into like this process of how you write songs. And after a while, it became more about like an individual writer in our band. And then when we wrote this new one, we were like, it's our first record for the world at the same time. And we just, I think we just need a fresh, fresh outlook on things. So we took it back to old school way of writing for Cold Rain. And that was like sitting in front of a computer listening to all kinds of songs and we're like, like that vibe. Let's let's try to like copy that vibe. Not like a not like a melody or a riff, like the vibe of like a band would have like for instance like Bullet's vibe, which is like metal but still you have that pop aspect and melodic aspect and those those were the kind of things that we took from all kinds of bands and figured out and because we knew after after all this time and what we've been through that if we write it'll sound like whole brain so we we tried to um write like it was our first record i guess and we worked with a producer called brandon paddock and he was a young guy um same age as us and he had he had he's he was as hungry as we were for the world and he still wants to become a big producer and he had a lot of energy and a lot of input to the record and it, and it ended up really cool so we're really happy about it. And how has it been received by the fans so far? We've, um, live-wise we've only been playing two songs yet and the record's only been out for three weeks now but I haven't heard anyone who said it's shit so bad I mean it's it's been awesome everyone's love been loving the record um, people have been digging it live and we just we're, we're just so happy and we can't um, wait to play the mm. whole record and tour with more of the songs from the record and hopefully headlines cool. so what would be your dream uh, lineup Ooh. <laughs> dream lineup if we were headlining yeah or maybe if you were supporting. Yeah, uh, oh. let's say you're headlining in like ten years. Okay. You're like the biggest metal band Ooh. in the world. Who would I get to support? It's terrible. Because all the bands I like, if they support us, we're gonna too much competition. I put shit bands all over. <laughs> okay. Um, but there's there's so many bands that I mean. Like even Japanese band, man. I'd love to have a whole Japanese lineup and it be still be a worldwide show, because like I think so so many Japanese bands have turned, um, deserve more attention that they are getting right now, and I, I I hope like the next time I see you, it's it's more like there's Baby Metal, Crossfade, mm -hmm. there's so and so, so and so, so and so. And the list goes on, and hopefully. 
because it's been two. It's a. It's been a year of only hearing certain bands, and hopefully that it becomes. There's so many that you can't even say like like UK bands and US bands are like that, and I think I think it's it's time for Japan to step up and show the world what we have. Yeah, because you have a lot of fan base around the world, but that's mainly J-pop and. Mm -hmm. Maybe J rock. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Now it's time for J metal. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And uh, I saw something interesting here that yeah, like your set list is in Japanese. No, this is <laughs> this is in our set list. It's um, we're we're filming uh, interview. Ah, okay. So cool. it, it, those are the questions. Ah, okay. It'd be cool if that was our set list. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just says what. How's the tour going? <laughs> it's like what you're asking me, basically. <laughs> okay. we, were, we were filming something for a Japanese television mm -hmm. program, so they they want to know they want to know uh, um, as much as you guys want to know um, how it is to be a Japanese band in the world because no one in Japan knows what's going on and it's such a different vibe that we're trying to get as much of that on footage mm -hmm. and show everyone like how cool it can be too. So. Just the fans aren't left out, and we just want to tell them how how cool people react to Cold Rain in the world. Mm. And are you big in Japan? I mean, we're trying. Um, we our tours are pretty big. We headline um, our headline shows are around twenty five hundred to three thousand. So that's a good number. Um, we definitely aim for more um, all over the place, and hopefully. In the future, we'll have a worldwide show that's about the same cap, like probably Bullet does, and we'll be playing bigger shows in Japan too. Maybe next year. Who knows? Who knows, man? So what's happening in 2016? Um, coming to any festivals? I think, I think we're we're we already have a busy schedule that I cannot tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> no Swedish festivals. Um, I mean, I think the summer there's a few few months that are still open towards festivals that haven't been figured out yet but we we have loads of tours going on and we're trying to do a Europe tour on our own mm -hmm. headline smaller um, cap rooms and hopefully come back to play longer sets meet, meet more of the fans and yeah it's it's but we've already figured out that we can do this do Japan and the world at the same time so hopefully next year is going to be busy in a good way and uh, do you have like any last question do you have any like uh, like any guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. Yeah. Um, I used to say, I used to say that I listened to Katy Perry, and that was my guilty pleasure. But everyone listens to Katy Perry now. Well, so I listen to Lady Gaga. See, I, I don't, I don't Gaga. listen to Katy Perry. You don't listen to Katy Perry. No, she's I'm one the... of my favorite ones. <laughs> Lady she's Gaga. like metal. <laughs> maybe yeah. you could open for Lady Gaga someday, because I mean, the darkness opened for her. Like, well, baby metal opened for Lady Gaga in the U.S. They did. Yeah. Cool. So that's cool. Could happen. Never know. Yeah. But I, I'll open for Katy Perry. <laughs> it's good money. <laughs> that's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank very you. much. Thanks, dude.